Now, whether it's a block of flats or a workplace, experts say that when cases emerge, it's important for as many people as possible to be swabbed, even if they aren't experiencing symptoms. Here's what Professor Tio Yik Ying of the So Sui Hock School of Public Health told us. So my advice to people who are either living in such a block or working in an environment where uh, a cluster has developed is to come forward and get yourself tested. This will provide the peace of mind to yourself, your family, your colleagues, that you remain free from infection. The testing itself literally takes a few seconds to complete and the whole process from registration to the completion of the test actually takes about less than 10 minutes. So the results of the testing will usually be out the next day or for some perhaps a two day wait. However, a negative test does give you that peace of mind. But I talk about the negative test and it's important to also highlight that even when you get a negative test, you should continue to monitor your health for the next two weeks or 14 days. Because we have seen several cases where the first test was negative. Some of them even had a second test and the second test was also negative, but subsequently they became positive. So the important thing here is really to stay calm, come forward to be tested, monitor your own health for 14 days, minimize any unnecessary outdoor movement beyond the absolutely necessary. And I think it's important to remind ourselves that the main method for COVID-19 transmission is really through droplets and surfaces. So when it comes to a HDB block, lifts will be a place where I would classify as a higher risk location, be it through aerosols, droplets, or contact surfaces. And after all, I think in lifts, people are packed closer together and it is an enclosed environment. And in fact, in lifts, this is really where I would say we need to be very conscious about respiratory etiquette, which basically means that how do we cough and sneeze in such an enclosed confined location? So covering your mouth when you sneeze, preferably with your arm sleeve like this, or if really desperate with your hands, it's something we should be practicing. And of course, if you cover with your hands, make sure you wash your hands or disinfect your hands after you do that. I would once again highlight the risk of being infected when air is circulating freely, where it is much more open like corridors between flats, that risk is extremely small. And we can make that very small risk even smaller by what we do and practice when it comes to face mask wearing, hand hygiene, how we sneeze and how we cough.